Okay, so this is the beginning of the vlog for Sri Lanka. Going to the Chiang Mai airport right now. Got everything packed up. My girl's looking beautiful. She's looking happy. Shy. And uh, we're gonna get the Uber right now. And we're going from Chiang Mai to Bangkok. And then basically we got a transfer flight from Bangkok on a nonstop flight all the way to Colombo in Sri Lanka. And we're going to have a taxi there with us. We already have phone number contact. So we'll be documenting all the way. Let's go, let's have a great time. And of course, the last one, 60 seconds. What would I say to anyone who wants to teach English abroad, TEFL abroad? Okay, well, if you're gonna teach in a school, that's a wonderful place to start. Look, I've been teaching in schools for over eight years, but it was great while it lasted, and now it's time for me to be teaching online where I have the freedom. But with that being said, what I wanna say is, if you wanna teach at a school, it's a great place to start. There's so many schools out here in Southeast Asia, Thailand, China, Laos, Cambodia, amazing, amazing places, Vietnam. So many schools, it's a great place in, but you really, really need a four-year degree. If you don't, you're gonna to have to hustle, you're gonna have a bit of an issue sometimes, but it's gonna be your, you gotta take action, and it's your responsibility. Anyway, what I wanna say is that teaching at a school will give you a wonderful opportunity to learn about the language, learn about the culture, learn about the daily routine and the lifestyle and the food and all that stuff, and then you can teach English part-time. But be coming to a school and having a set, stable income is very important when you first move out teaching English abroad. Anyway, just all 11-11 on the phone, so we got good luck going. I'm walking through the terminal right now, dude. I'm so pumped up, man. People think I'm crazy. When you talk loud in Thailand, people think you're crazy. So like, that's why I usually try to keep it cool in the airport. People like it quiet in Thailand. So everything was great. Flight from Chiang Mai to Bangkok, successful. Pretty chill, now just waiting on the bag. Domestic flight, walk downstairs and then go get the tickets to Sri Lanka. We'll check into the flight, you know what I'm talking about. And stop expecting things. Go out and earn it. Give you guys a little view of the uh, Suvana Bumi, Suvana Bumi Airport. There's two big airports in Bangkok, so make sure you go to the right one. Don't make that mistake that I did when I went to the Philippines and go to the wrong airport. So anyway, we're on floor three right now and we gotta go. Okay, we're... So, so one of the good things is the line's super, super small in here. Only like maybe 10 people in front of us. So short line, I'm just so excited to go to a new country. And real quick, by the way, if you guys didn't know, Bangkok is the number one tourist destination in the world. Past London, past uh, Paris, France last year. So Thailand is a wonderful, wonderful place. It is Bangkok crowded, but there's so many places in the nature that you can go to. Okay, so moving out. <laughs> We've been saying goodbye to Bangkok, saying goodbye to Thailand. And uh, anyway, walking out to the walking out to the plane right now, and super excited. So cool! My first time getting on a Sri Lankan airplane. I just love meeting new people. It's so cool. Like new hair, different skin tones, different accents, different languages. I love it. I live for this all day. Okay, so five. Oh, we got it. We just landed. Never saw so many coconut farms in my life. Well, that was a bit of a rocky, rocky landing, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. It's official. We made it. All right, so we are officially here at the airport. And uh, so we're gonna go out here and get checked in through the uh, immigration. And then uh, after the immigration, gonna go find the uh, taxi driver and very excited. Awesome. So we made it to Sri Lanka. Yes. We're in Sri Lanka and we met some new friends. This guy right here, really helpful, even called the uh, Airbnb host for me. Sure. So hospitality is amazing. I can say, uh, it's studi, it's thank you, it's studi. <laughs> okay, so first update really quick. 
the uh, SIM card, literally like within 50 meters, 75 meters, there's already a little kiosk here. So when you get into Colombo and Sri Lanka, don't worry about SIM cards. Just come right here. The people will take care of you in and out in like five minutes. And it was, uh, they take Thai bot, so like 400 bot for uh, three gigabytes, 4G, which is pretty good, which is basically around like $10. All I gotta say right now is, oh my gosh, the passport clearance at the airport was super cool. No hostility, no aggression. They're like super cool, like meditating in their chairs. It's so awesome. So anyway, now it's time to go get our bags and get taxi. It's okay. I know, it's so cool. So anyway, why, why are you laughing? She's going crazy. Oh my god. People have big eyes and have hair here. She's scared of all these people everywhere in these clothes. I don't know why. So this being in the baggage claim area. Yeah, people are so friendly. People are full of smiles here. I love it. Everybody's just smiling. So anyway, um, yeah, it's so cool here. It's so nice. They get good vibes in Sri Lanka already. And uh, I got invited to somebody's house already. It's so crazy. Um, one of the gentlemen that I was speaking to on the airplane, his whole family's here. His uh, two daughters, his wife. And they're all like, hey, the last day you were coming over for, for supper, for some food. So, I mean, how can you complain? You know, one, not even one hour here and already got invited to somebody's house to eat dinner. Life is amazing. You gotta get out and travel, people, come on. Don't say you don't have time. Don't say you don't have the money and the resources. Do what you gotta do, save up some money, sell some shit that you don't need and save up some money for a plane ticket and get over here to Thailand. I'm talking Thailand to Sri Lanka was like $264 round trip. So, uh, I mean, come on now. Okay, so again, I went through the line with uh, nothing to declare. We should see, I should do the change here. We should exchange our money here. <clears throat> so when you get out of the plane, you get through the immigration, you get your SIM card, come meet these guys right here. They'll take care of you. They got a good currency rate, rate exchange. So they just exchanged my Thai bot for some Sri Lankan rupees and life is good. I'll okay, so, hey, hi. Where were you? Hey, buddy, got the name on the card. Can you get the name on the card? Can I see the name? Ah, oh, so cool. Awesome, Airbnb rocks. So nice to meet you. Yes, yes. Uh, can I say, uh, how to say, I'm gonna Ayubon. 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 yes. Yeah. And what's your name? Diane. Diane, yeah. okay, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Let's go. Yeah. Sorry to make you wait. I had no idea. Where were you? Here? Oh, okay. Okay, so we're making our way out. Uh, the taxi driver, he was waiting for us. We had no idea, we didn't even see him. But he's super cool, right in front of us in the yellow shirt. Again, Sri Lanka, people are super friendly. Uh, really warm outside right now. But it's not like super crazy humid. And um, anyway, nothing but good vibes all day, baby, baby. Teach English abroad, let's go. Every day. Okay, so we got good news. It's a little dark right now, but uh, we just got checked into our place with Airbnb. Look, look at Jasper. We got a cool dog here. It's amazing. It took us like two hours from the airport. We stopped one time to uh, get some cashews, get some water, and the, the traffic was crazy. And the driver, he was a good driver. He's bigger than you. Jasper. Come on, Jasper, over here, buddy. So anyway, we're having a great time. We're getting checked in. It's a little hot right now. So uh, we're gonna take some showers, rinse off, cool off. And the owner, the host, I told him that like, I'm really, we're really hungry, you know, we haven't had much food all day and is there any vegetarian or vegan food or anything like that? He's gonna whip us up some homemade dal. If you don't know what dal is, it's like lentils and some rice, like, we don't even need to walk out now, like the hospitality here is, uh, you know, when you're a good person, maybe the hospitality is always good no matter where you go. Keep that good intention in your heart. Keep your heart pure, keep your heart natural. 
<laughs> Yo, check this out. Yo, our Airbnb host is a like five star Michelin chef. Look at this. He just straight whipped up uh, some delicious jasmine rice, onions, tomatoes, this oh. yellow doll. Wow, it's so good and spicy. I love spicy food. Yeah, I just showing all my friends the food. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, so got the mosquito net set up. <laughs> so cool. Tropical living right here in Sri Lanka. I'm going to be teaching English right here, right here in this room. And uh, it's time for, it's time for, it's bedtime. So everybody have a good night out there, wherever you are in this world, watching this video right now. Have a good night, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so get this thing locked up. All right, so check it out. I've got some really cool wooden stairs here. <laughs> Jasper, I love this. Yes, I really enjoy the culture in Asia because, number one, I'm not Buddhist. I'm, I'm from a Christian family, but I like to meditate. I like yoga, I like the food, and I don't eat meat. Oh. So very easy in uh, Sri Lanka, or maybe India, or Thailand. It's very convenient. <laughs> so right now we are gonna go to one of the uh, local markets, and gonna go look for some delicious food this morning. And just take a look. <laughs> Super beautiful garden out here. Can you do video right now? Yeah. And the birds in the morning, wow. Look at these right here. Nice. So just kind of walking in the morning right now, trying to find some rice and curry. Hello, Ayobo one. When you come to Sri Lanka, Ayobo one. You can say Ayobo one. Ayobo. Ayobo one. Ayobo one. Ayobo one. Ayobo one. Yes. Hello. So anyway, getting two coconuts right now. Nice. It's okay, I just, I just drink like this. So they got watermelon, mango, tomatoes, papaya, pineapple, bananas. So I just said, she asked me, she said, you want it now? And I was like, yeah, let's just eat the watermelon now. Look, we're just on the main, on the side of the road here. And uh, pretty cool, lots of motorcycles. Not super crazy though, I like it. Uh, these bananas here look amazing. And look at these coconuts. First time I ever have a, Yellow, orange, red coconut. Wow, look amazing. This watermelon looks so good. Very good. Look at that, it's so juicy. Wow. Look at this watermelon right here. So this is gonna be one of the breakfast starters. Okay, so we got the woman to, uh, Hello. what's her name? Dulika. Dulika. So we got her to make some, some homemade, yeah, some coconut juice right here. Mmm. 100% is the uh, the juice and some of the meat and then she blends it up and then squeezes it out. So we got a nice spread here. We got coconut milk, watermelon, banana, and then we got some rice and curry coming up. Wow. Homemade food right here from Sri Lanka. Wow, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, smells so good. That's the rest of the watermelon. <laughs> so we have some potato curry right here, uh, some yellow doll, and the same thing here that uh, Kim has. And then uh, just amazing, ready to, oh wow, more food. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so amazing. So just a quick recap. You saw all of that food. Huge plate of rice, then a side of potato curry, and a side of fresh yellow dal. For two people, $10 and like 78 cents. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. That's so good, like $10 for a whole plate of food. Okay, so we just finished up our breakfast. Um, had one watermelon, two bananas, coconut milk, and this is the most amazing potato curry, dal, white rice, white jasmine rice, so good. Good people. And now it's time we're gonna go check out this little t-shirt spot over here and then uh, head back and kind of kick it for a bit. And then we're gonna go check out the beach, which is literally just right across the street here. So it's a great day. Okay, so we made it to the beach now. Got our breakfast in. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, so we're on the beach right now. First time at the beach in like two years. Oh my gosh. Amazing, amazing coast right now. So basically, I'm gonna flip you guys back around. Behind me, that's gonna stretch all the way down to the south, I believe. And then on this side behind me is gonna stretch all the way up to the north. And there's a lot of surfers out there right now, but it's not so big. Maybe like half a meter long sets in between. But I'm gonna go jump in the water over here and uh, do some body surfing. Okay, so we just finished in the water right now. It was so much fun just to be swimming and body surfing. And then uh, now we're gonna head back to, head back to the house and just kick it and relax and have a great time. Hey. Okay guys, here's the moment of truth. I'm about to teach my first online English class in Sri Lanka right now. It's a beautiful day. So let me go down here, get set up, and uh, I'm just gonna go online right now. I got two minutes before my next class. Try to get a better light in here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in, enter. One. Good afternoon. Hey, Tanya. How are you? Yeah, and hey, guess what? Look where I'm. Look where I'm at. It's so beautiful here. Let me show you. Yeah, and I'm really excited because the internet is working really well. Can you hear me? Okay, well, great, I'm good. So, Tanya, how are you today? <laughs> you look so happy and excited. You're great? I know, me too, I'm happy too. <laughs> I found it. Yeah, can you circle the D for me, please? Where's the D? <laughs> yeah, great job, Tanya, let me give you your first star, okay? Okay, so practice that one more time. Say computer games. Computer games. Wow, good pronunciation, Tanya. That's amazing. You sound like a native speaker. I will I'll read Thanks. the I'll read the number and then you can repeat it. So that way you can listen to my pronunciation and my tone. Okay? And then you can practice it, okay? Okay. How the? <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Awesome. Okay, now look, we got a few more rows to go. Three. Sixteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Seven. Seven. 
Eighteen. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Mm. One more time. Seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Good, good, good. Mm. Twenty-seven. Yeah. Okay, one more time. One more time. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Okay, great job. Now, huh? One more time. So we're gonna do this. No teacher help. Ready, Tanya? Ready, go. Eleven. Twenty five. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Okay, great job. Say again. Ten. Ten. Perfect. Okay, let's go to the next page. You did a great job on your numbers. Thank you, Tanya. Okay. What is this one? It says, that's my poster and those are my kites. That's my poster and those are my kites. Are my kites. My kites. Okay, next one. What are those? What are those? Are those books? Are those books? No. 27 minus, minus five equals 22. Okay, you got all five stars today. I'm so happy for you, Tanya. Good job. Hun Hao. Hun Hao. I have a Yeah, tens. It's called tens. I have a question. Okay, what's your question? Okay. Buy milk or milk. Which one? Okay, two, what are the choices? Soy milk or milk. Soy milk. I, uh, t uh, teacher Camden prefers soy milk. I think that it's healthier. Healthier. What? It's yummy. I prefer milk. When when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I drank cow's milk. But when I was twenty three, I switched to soy milk, almond milk, coconut milk, walnut milk, pistachio milk, cashew nut milk, and yeah, lots of new milk. <laughs> I'm gonna drink all the milk. <laughs> okay, hey Tanya, again, thank you so much. I got my next class in five seconds. I gotta go, bye bye. So I just wanna say that was pretty amazing. I actually impressed. So I posted an Instagram live photo of my story and I asked everybody, do you think I can teach English online in Sri Lanka? And I just showed it, there's proof. I'm not even on them. I'm not even in the main city. I'm not even next to the main road. There is a telephone line right here. And I'm probably, I would say at least a kilometer away from the main road. We're out here in the middle of the jungle with coconut trees and stuff and banana trees and still able to get it through. Now someone booked another class with me. This is a unofficial course. We're gonna see if this person actually calls me. Here we go. Let's listen, let's see who it is. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, fine, thank you. Doing wonderful, thank you for asking. What's your name? My name is Minnie. Minnie, nice to meet you, I'm Camden. Yeah, me too, me too. 
you. So, can you tell me uh, what city are you from? I'm from uh, Shenzhen. Oh, Shenzhen from the south. Yes, absolutely yeah. right. So very different from Beijing, Nar. So I'm not too sure, maybe the person got a call, but what's really amazing is, this is what I told you guys in the video. So one of the amazing things right now, I think the student has uh, another call because I can't hear the person now. That happens sometimes, they get a call and then they try to go back in. <laughs> oh, hey, there's, there's, hey, Minnie. But uh, what I wanted to say was, I think it's amazing, I'm gonna turn my camera on now, I think it's amazing that uh, I sent you this message a long time ago and you finally messaged me back like a year later, one year later. Yeah, um, basically, uh, I, when you just uh, come to Powerfish and I focus, uh, I follow you. And uh, at that time, you just have very few fans, but now you have a very big crowd of fans. Right, that's what I try to tell people. When I started out, I didn't know, I didn't know what I do two years later, what I, what I do know now, and I'm still learning because there's a lot of new teachers there. And, but you know, the most important thing in life is just to always be yourself. And if you're consistent and if you care and you do, if you keep creating, then you will build a bigger following, you know? And it's, it's not about the followers, it's just about the impact you're having on people. Yes. Well, thank you. You know, what I, what I really like is um, that I do have patience and I need to work more on my patience. I need to have more patience. Um, what I think is happening right now in the world is for a long time, there was a lot of, um, and there still is, a lot of things are out of fear. You know, they have, you have a lot of companies always trying to tell you what's not good about yourself. Like, oh, your eyes are not beautiful enough. Your nose is not beautiful enough. Your skin is not beautiful, you know, all these things. And I think people are tired of it. They're, they want to hear someone who's happy, someone who's positive. And it doesn't matter who they are or where they're from. People now are just hungry for, you know, good information, for positive, a, a good, good vibe, good vibrations. Yes. yes. Maybe I think everyone, yeah, uh, fragile. Okay, guys, going into my next class right now. Heading out in the back balcony. Just had to go to the bathroom. I know you guys want to know about that. <laughs> you guys actually know about that because if you're teaching English online, you know when you got back-to-back -back classes, you better run your booty to the bathroom. Okay, so here we go. It's time for the last class. Let's go ahead and enter. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Lucas. Hey, good afternoon. I am in Sri Lanka. Yeah, I'm in a new country. Yeah, beautiful. I'll show you what else I'm out here. Let me show you what else is cool. You know what else is cool? Is this is a coconut tree. You like coconut trees? Coconut trees. Look. What did you eat for dinner, Lucas? What did you eat for dinner? Did you eat rice for dinner? I eat chicken. Okay, so you had chicken. What else did you have for dinner? You had duck. Whack, whack, whack. 
Why did you eat the duck, man? <gasps> that duck has a family. The duck has a mom and dad. Okay, let's go over here. Come, Lucas. So look, I'm gonna see you next time, okay? Okay. So have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Okay, so the moment of truth was all truth, all success. I just did four back-to-back -back classes. I never got booted out. The students were able to hear me clearly and I was able to hear them clearly. There was one or two times there was like an unstable connection, but again, I could hear them clearly, they could hear me clearly, so there was never like any interruption or lag. And uh, so this is amazing. Again, you can teach English on online in Sri Lanka. It's official. I don't know how many other online English teachers who have even attempted this, so hopefully I might be one of the first ones out here. That would be really great. And even if I'm not, it's all good. I just wanna try to be a person that can share their experience and do something new. That way other people can know like, hey, this place is not the only place or that place is not the only place you can go anywhere. Don't pigeonhole yourself, even if you love a specific country or a specific language or culture. Always be willing to investigate and explore more areas in the world. Don't forget that. And with that being said, I finished my so-called work for today. I put in two hours, four classes, and right now I'm unable to upload on social media, basically all social media. Powfish does work, so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna be taking lots of photos, doing lots of these videos, so that some short form video, some long form video. And when I get back to Chiang Mai, probably when you guys are watching this, um, I'll be able to upload all this information and all this documentation for you guys. So I can't wait to put this together for everyone out there, even for myself, so I can go back and look at this one day. And just, you know, don't listen to what other people are saying. Um, out of like, I remember always people say like, out of not 100 people, 99, are never gonna offer you anything but that one person, not always, but that one person, you know, it's just, it's just like, don't allow yourself to be drowned out by other people's thoughts and influences and words that they say to you. Just allow yourself to be influenced by yourself. And know yourself, be, build up your self-awareness, and that comes through creation. Like, if you're just doing classes, and you're not making, okay, look, let's say some people don't, I can't, then I don't want to make video. I'm not video ready. That's cool. Do a voice podcast. Done. I don't like my voice and I don't want to do video. Okay. Do a picture and make like four paragraphs of writing in English. And even though you're still going to have to get over that, being on video, you've got to get in the live streams. You got to do video moments. And just having classes is not going to be enough. You're still going to be living paycheck to paycheck. I'm still living paycheck to paycheck. What can I say? But I know what's coming because the good Lord's already delivered it to me. I'm already feeling it like I already have it because this life is abundant. This is, this is the definition of abundance. No big ass buildings behind me. I'm not saying that cities are bad. I'm not saying that big buildings are bad. What I'm saying is, when you're out here, you got time to think for yourself. When you're in a crowded city, you're in a different type of energy. That's just the reality. That whole frequency living in a city, it does something to your mind. It does. And when you're out here, not listening to cars, not listening to horns honking and breathing and fumes and smog. It's a big thing in Southeast Asia. People got to realize. So if you're teaching English online, start seeking out more exploration. Just do it. Challenge yourself. Go out there and go to a new country. Go travel. Go see the world. Teaching English abroad is amazing.
Hey, buddy. Oh, so nice. Dogs out here. So cool. As you guys can see here, there's tons of rooms that are available. Uh, they're all kind of like lined up. And basically, we're kind of like in the back of an alley here. And it just kind of keeps going. And the, the rooms, uh, well, actually, the houses and the places for like lodging will get a bit more private as you go back here. But along here on the main strip, <laughs> right, this is the main area, before you get out to the main road. And if you go straight, like another 200 meters, you hit the beach. Oh, we just got in time for the train. Here it goes. That was a quick train. And everybody's so happy out here. You know, everybody's having a good time. A little lake, river stream. Here's the main guy who's operating the railroad tracks, train station, but pretty sweet. Again, as you can see, this place right here, the White Horse, guest house, rooms available. And some of them have air conditioning, some don't. But as you guys can see, there's more construction going on right here. More rooms been, um, gonna go up. One of the really cool things, it seems like, specifically at least here in Hikadua in Sri Lanka, it seems like there's a lot of houses and then they'll like create an extra spot in the house like for maybe a room two or three rooms and it's kind of like sharing and that's how they might open up their airbnb or their rooms you know the shared rooms and things like that and rooms for rent you know this is how small little companies small little businesses get going and as you, as you can see what i realized is today on the beach number one the beach is really big really long really wide even on high tide and um there's lots of surfing schools, lots of surfing lessons offered here. A couple of restaurants, a couple little like markets along the way up here. And uh, basically, and one of the things is, as soon as you come up, I'm gonna show you guys the main road up here. I'll show you guys, so it was really quiet back there. Oh God, it looks like there's a little, a little issue going on. You gotta be careful. Some guy was getting really unhappy on the bike. And uh, with a guy on the truck. Doesn't look too good. But life goes on here. Damn, oh my god. And we're back at the same we're back at the same spot that we went to this morning. I figure food was good. I met the chef. And so we're gonna come back here right now. Hello, Ayabo one. Hi Boa. Yeah, hi. Hi. Come back. I'm back. And so here we go. This is uh, one of the spots right here. Jawani restaurant. Got a lot of great rice curries. And then of course fruit stand right out front. So it's really nice. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna get down low, show you guys how to go. That's how you chop, chop a real coconut open right there. You see how close that knife is to her fingers? But she's a pro. Been doing this since for you know decades, a few decades. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Coconut water shot all over me. Oh, okay, I don't like, I don't need straw. Yeah. So what I could do is just sit right here and wait for the food to come, but I'm thinking, you know, I only got a certain amount of days here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and talk to the people and see if I can learn some, uh, some of the language here, which is, like I said, there's three different languages spoken here, but the one that I'm gonna focus on is Singhalese. So I'm gonna go over here and see if they'll teach me a few things, like some food. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh yeah, delicious. But you see, I need to, I want to learn how to speak uh, Singhalese. 
Singhalese. Mm. So how to say coconut in Singhalese? Tambali. 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 So how do you say I love to drink tambali? Tambali. Uh, drink. Uh, good. Uh, Hyundai. 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 Mama Kamati born. Nei wa tere na ekre yaadi. What's mango? How to say mango? Mango. Amber. 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 How to say I like? Tamati. Tabadi. Tamati. 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 So tamati mango. I like mama kamati. Mama kamati. Okay, mama kamati. Mama kamati o yaate. Mama kamati. I like you. Oh okay. It's <laughs> food. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah. learn. See, that's what that's the coolest thing about language is it it brings people together. It's all about communication. So, how to say uh, rice and curry? Uh, bat. 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 Oh, okay, bat. easy. Bat. <laughs> How to Elo say? Hello, Lubat. 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 How about? Coconut sambal. Full sambal. Sambal. Yeah, coconut sambal. Sambal. Yeah, coconut sambal. Full sambal. Full sambal. Yeah, full sambal. Full sambal. What about pineapple? Annasi. Annasi. What about house? House. Gedera. 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 Okay, house is good. Uh, this banana, kesen. Banana is what? Kesen. 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 Okay, cool. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Whoa. Damn. You gotta be careful around here. I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> Shit. So, anywhere. It's a beautiful day. Okay, check out this traffic right here. Right behind me. Yeah. So actually quite a few people coming through right now. Some tourists. <laughs> Some tourists. Look at these little tuk-tuks. Oh this guy. Hey buddy! Yeah man, that's right. Uh. Wow, that's from my foot to your foot. Look like some skis. Look like some skis on her feet. Once again, getting served the most delicious food. Okay, good morning. It is February, March 9th, and it's almost like, I think it's even past 8 a.m. And basically, what I'm realizing is that, oh shit. Okay, good morning. It's Friday, March 9th. And this is one of our last full days here in Hegadua Beach, right here in Sri Lanka. Last night after dinner, after a delicious rice and curry, we headed down to the beach just to kind of relax for a bit. It was beautiful. They had bonfires on the beach, torches by the, uh, the hotel side. And what's also really cool here is, you know, I like freedom and I like all that. But I, like here, you have to have like, an, like a special license to sell alcohol. So it's not so easy for a lot of restaurants and like little places to open up and sell alcohol. So that kind of creates like for a very different vibe here compared to a place like, I'm just gonna say like in Koh Tao or in Koh Phangan, like in places like that in Thailand where full moon parties, everybody's getting shit faced and they got these buckets of liquor for like super cheap you don't have any of that crap here and it's way way better i'd rather be around more chill and relaxed people than a bunch of idiots getting wasted that's just me now back in my early 20s i was one of those idiots getting wasted but now i've grown i've matured and i'm not here to criticize anyone or be a hypocrite i just want to say that the vibes here are way better than going down the beach and listening to crazy loud techno music or boom 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 it's like Went out on the beach last night, it was quiet, you can listen to the waves, have a little bit of reggae music in the back, some Bob Marley, but it's low key, people are low key, no one's getting all crazy. It's lovely, I love that. So anyway, I'm gonna kinda show you guys, this is the, uh, the balcony view on the front side, and it's literally, like just like the description in the Airbnb, you're in the middle of a really beautiful garden, in the morning there's bird song, songbirds, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the next step right over here. This door will lead you to the back side of the other balcony. So I'm going to open it up and show you guys how to do this. 
So anyway, you guys are gonna get a little brief tour. So here's the kitchen, full-on kitchen. Everything's furnished. You got all the silverware and all that stuff you need. Unlatch this, and it just opens right up. Right, you got a big coconut leaf right in your face. <laughs> a banana leaf right in your mouth, right in the jaw. So if you're not careful, you open up the door, you might get a you might get a coconut in the face, or you might get a you might get a banana leaf right in the jaw. Okay, that's just because I've been hanging out with a lot of cool kids lately, and I'm feeling like, you know, just like Steve Jobs says, never lose that foolishness inside of you. Anyway, it's a great place to do a video right here. A little bit of shadow, but it's okay. So anyway, um, teaching English abroad. Next video I'm going to start making is. 10 signs you know that you're meant to be teaching English abroad. So there's 10 things I was thinking about and it was like travel and culture and people and the food and going to airports and picking airlines and Airbnbs and trip advisors, Google searches and all those great things. And I'll make a separate video about those 10 things. But uh, what is the plan for today? So the plan for today is to have a nice relaxed morning, you know, uh, the whole time I've been here, haven't woken up on an alarm, and it's so refreshing. I can't believe, I used to, I can wake up really easily, like 5, 5.30 when I'm in Chiang Mai, because I'm on like a more set schedule. And then when I come out here, it's like, I'm not thinking about the time I'm going to wake up. I'm not thinking about setting an alarm. I'm going to wake up naturally when my body feels fully rested. And I can see the difference, like when I wake up in the morning, my eyes are not puffy. My body kind of hurts, actually. I mean, I did hard, hard, some pretty good yoga last night, so that could have a factor to it. But um, just, I mean, how can you argue with this? Why, why would you want to be inside a polluted city? You know, I'm working every, every minute that I get back when I come back to Chiang Mai is going to be dedicated to getting myself out into more natural locations like this so I can show you guys that it's really possible and you don't have to be some rich millionaire or make hundreds of thousands of dollars. You guys see what I do, you see what I make, you see what I go through every day, and you can get yourself out here. But you, if you're living in the West, it's gonna be really difficult to get out to some of these places because something just fell. The plane ticket was really, ex it's pretty expensive, but when you get over here to Southeast Asia, like I said, two under, it's like $264 round trip from Bangkok to Sri Lanka, nonstop, less than four hour flight. Last night here, though, there was um, some kind of fruit bat. I was chilling right out here on the balcony. And the bat came, like, literally, geez, it was, like, just, a, like, one meter, a meter and a half away from where we were chilling right here last night. So that was a pretty cool experience, all a gray bat. And um, what else can I say? It's like their little... What I'm going to do is, yes, there is some plastic, and there's a whole TV down here. <laughs> What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna surprise them, really show my, my appreciation, how much I care, even though nobody asked me and I don't know what their response will be. Um, I'm just gonna kinda go around and kinda clean up some of this stuff today and make a big pile and show these people that I really wanna try to take care of keep, and keeping things pristine. Yeah, so anyway guys, have a great day and thank you so much for taking the time to watch these videos and get inspired to teach English abroad. Good morning, Jasper. I see you happy. Come here. Ooh, a stretch. That's right, you're gonna do a little stretch. Hey, buddy, good boy. Good boy. You're a good boy, yeah. Shake, 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 shake. Man, hey, sit. 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 Sit down. Come on. Sit. 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 Oh, good boy. Let me get your tummy. Let me get your tummy. Yeah. Now he's happy. Okay. So right now we're in one of the back alleyways. This is like a some kind of an abandoned house. But what's really cool is there's papaya trees all over this place. All the beautiful that ferns, one. really big tall ferns growing right here. Uh, just brings so much clean air. 
Are you bowling? In coconut leaves. Oh. Yeah. Right there, you guys see that squirrel? That squirrel right there is making a lot of noise. Beautiful home. Wow, these guys are artists right here, doing a good job. So cool. Real quick, so if anybody is gonna plan to travel to Sri Lanka or Hikadua Beach here in Sri Lanka, oh cool, they got the bus. Hey guys. So anyway, right here you can see there's tons of like guest houses. There's only a two lane road here, literally. I can almost like in a couple steps jump over to the other side and go to the beach. But there's tons and tons, like another hot hotel and restaurant right here. So along the way, within like one or two kilometers, you're just gonna see tons of places that you can sleep at. And some have air conditioned rooms, some don't. And in here, they got an Ayurveda medicine center, which looks really cool. I'm really tempted to go there today. I'm not sure if I will. And then of course, they got a little, like a little grocery store right here. A lot of things in English, a lot of people speak English. Um, so you're not gonna have like too many issues with communication. And uh, with that being said, lots of tours, of course. And then here you can see another guest house. This one looks more like a French style guest house. And uh, again, taxi service, a lot of things really easy, very accessible here. Uh, and I think the thing was uh, the language barrier. There's not a really big language barrier because the, the kids are learning English and a lot of the people are learning English already in the schools, even though it might not be with the most understandable accent for some people. But for me, I'm an English teacher, so I listen to different accents all day for like years. So it's very easy for me to understand when I go to a new country, when people are trying to do their best to speak English. This one looks pretty cool. A lot of artwork here, a lot of artisanal stuff, just so much um, originality and creative work. I really, really love to see that here. It makes me really happy to be in a place like this. Same thing, another spot right here. You guys can see it's a family inn and uh, even have a bed, Wi-Fi, food. So it even has like little logos and signs for that. So it's really simple to find. And uh, right here, you guys got some fresh bread. Hey, good morning. How you bowl one? And so if you guys need some bread, you can head over here. What's your name? Ron. Mohan. Mohan. So when you guys come to Hikadua, you gotta meet Mohan if you guys are looking for some good bread. Thank you. It's Thudi. And uh, you just gotta keep going. Like I said, whoops, a lot of beautiful flowers. And uh, we're making our way back up to the main spot right now. And uh, here's our spot. They got the coconuts ready. Got the watermelons ready. Hi, Boan. Boan. Oh, wow, amazing. Gonna do one watermelon. Yeah. And uh, we'll do two coconuts. Yeah. Um, I'll try this one. Whatever one you think is good, I trust you. And hey, are these avocado? Yeah, avocado. Oh, okay. This, this one is food? good today, right now. Any? Uh, today not good. No. How many? Maybe. Two days. Two days. Two days. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go to Thailand. Mango ready. Mango's ready. Yeah. Okay. Papaya. So this is how they're gonna unload all the coconuts right here. Hey, what's up guys? I'm coming to you live right now on the beach in Hikadua, Sri Lanka. I'm gonna take you guys out right here in the water with me. So let's go. I hope the iPhone, I hope this new iPhone can get a little bit of wet. So here we go. Let's go, come. 
Oh, oh, the rock's right there, careful. So along down here, a lot of good surfing. Got about a two hour session in today, it was really fun. But only can stay out here for about another 15 minutes or I'm gonna be looking like a lobster tonight. Oh, here comes one. Okay, go down, swim, swim, swim. Go down, go down. Go down, go, 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 go. Okay, I'm gonna put the, the camera up real quick. Don't wanna get this thing messed up. Okay, so good afternoon. I got pretty red today, but it's okay. It's not too bad, it doesn't hurt. Um, I have about another 30 minutes before my classes start for Friday. March 9th at 4 p.m. in Sri Lankan time, so I'm pretty stoked. Just got two classes today. I went surfing today. It was so much fun. And, you know, this lifestyle is, it's something else. Like, there's not, I don't know how to describe it, but like, you wake up and you feel rested. You're not rushed with an alarm. And you take your time eating people making your food takes like 30 minutes because they're making everything homemade from scratch and you go to the beach you can go swimming in the ocean you can come back over you can come back to your spot like the Airbnb I'm gonna do a really great video before I leave here with the uh, the gentleman who owns this place and do a proper Airbnb tour because this place is so good <clears throat> I like to keep things secret but a place like this and the price, I mean, $75 for three nights, that's like insane. It really is. Damn, I got burned today a little bit. It's okay. So anyway, out there, all you guys, okay, it's time for the real action. Time for Palfish. Just want to say, guys, right now, I'm going to be teaching two classes back to back. It is 4 p.m. right now in Hikadua Beach in Sri Lanka. I have one minute and 30 seconds, give or take a few seconds, and counting. So, I just wanna say to everybody out there, I'm really happy and I've been making lots and lots of videos, taking lots and lots of great pictures. Oh my gosh, whoa. That's like the biggest bee I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Yo, that bee was so big, that thing would kill somebody. Whoa. All right, so anyway, let's go and see, see what happens. Let's see what happens, listen, listen. Oh, nobody's in here. So anyway, here's the main screen and like yesterday, the four classes went great. Just two classes today. And it's really nice out here, guys. Check it out. You guys seen this a lot probably by now. Because as you guys know, I can't, I can't upload anything on social media right now. So, state of emergency in Sri Lanka because of a, some tension and some issues in a place called Candy. Look, got the tuk-tuk back here. Uh-oh. Had the ice cream truck go down earlier. Goggles. Swimming goggles. Swimming goggles. He is wearing a pair of swimming goggles. He's wearing a pair of swimming. Swimming goggles. He's got a pair of swimming goggles. Oh my goodness gracious, it's so amazing. Okay, so I'm coming on to my last class right now, waiting on my student to come. Everything is pretty amazing. The internet works great down here too. I'm gonna show you guys the garden out here. I'm gonna do my class literally, not the whole class, but you know, the students, they're really excited 
to see something different. They like to see the dog out here. They like to see the fruit trees. They like to see the flowers. And, um, you know, just that, that natural serenity just makes everything really amazing. I think I just stepped in, oh no, just a, just an old piece of fruit skin. I thought it was some poo. I was like, oh. Hello. Hey, Eric, how are you doing? How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm very good, man. Take a look outside. Look. Wow. Is this nice? Yes. Is it beautiful? Piaoliang, ma. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and see, up here have the a place to sleep. Spots. I can wear them. Okay, so right now, just finished up doing some writing, finished my two classes, gonna go take a walk, go get some food, walk on the beach tonight, come back, relax, and then gonna work out a deal with the uh, Airbnb host. I'm gonna stay past my, my checkout time, maybe say like late, like 9 p.m., 10 p.m., and gonna try to find a taxi that will take me to the Colombo airport late, be like you know <clears throat> midnight that's okay i can get there at midnight or 1 a.m or something like that because i take a shower here at like 10 p.m or 9 p.m or something like that i'm gonna have to figure out a way i'm gonna have to just try to push for a late time and we'll see what we see how we can get in even because i need to be at the airport by like 5 a.m 4 30 a.m because my flight's leaving at like 7 a.m in the morning so if i go to Colombo tomorrow. It's a new city. I don't really know a lot about it. I'm gonna have to get a hotel. I'm gonna have to get at least one taxi to take me to the hotel, and then another taxi to, taxi to take me to the airport in the morning, which is, by the way, like 17 kilometers away, which may not seem like a lot, but uh, for taxis and just this whole thing is in the morning. You don't want to be dealing with a lot of traffic. You don't want to be trying to negotiate prices and things like that so I'm just looking for ways to avoid this friction and it's gonna be smart I might have to pay more money up front but actually if you factor in the hotel if you factor in another taxi if you factor it even taking a bus with the hotel you still have to pay for a taxi to get to the airport in some way it's better just to pay the $75 from Hikadua Beach and take you to the airport I mean $75 for a two hour drive and you can stop if you need to and pull over for it and get some food and stuff like that. So um, I just think that's a much better option than trying to get a bus and try to, oh, it's cool, I took a bus and saved some money. Um, but you know, when I was in Costa Rica and Nicaragua starting out, I was taking buses and stuff like that because, uh, but also it's taxis way more expensive down there. I mean, two hour drive for $75 taxi to the airport here. That's really, really good. So anyway, time to go get some grub. Sit. 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 You want me to pet you? Come. Sit. Sit. Yeah, good boy. How do you know English? How do you know English, huh? I just met you two days ago. You shake? Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Shake? Shake? No, no. <laughs> Whoa, you're a big boy. Oh, he wants to really get on me. <laughs> it's cool. I love Dalmatian. It's like literally, uh, it's a dream come true. Cause like 101 Dalmatians was like my favorite Disney movie growing up. I had like Pongo and Purdy and Lucky and Rolly and Patch. And uh, to see this dog right here, I haven't seen, you know, a lot of people say Dalmatians are like aggressive and they like to bite. And when I came to Sri Lanka the first night when I saw this, it was like, whoa, it's just so cool how things work out. 
in life when you follow your heart. That's all I gotta say. So here comes the train. Don't worry, I'm gonna move. one 80 80 okay yeah I do so anyway I thought it was an ice cream truck and uh, this guy's come through with some bread so he says hey can I get you can I you need something so of course I'm willing to support somebody somebody like this who's willing to reach out okay so I didn't film the transaction but it's all good so it was 160 rupees for I asked him he said no milk and no egg it has some sugar on here but uh Mmm. Mmm. It's filled with some kind of like brown sugar or some fruit. Mmm. Spicy. Mmm. And you got some spicy bread. Yes. Here, try this one. So, anyway, it's good. Yeah. Today, I, I do YouTube. I make a YouTube video and I told people come to Whitehorse. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people don't know he could do a. So I'm just trying to show people some different places to sleep, some different places, you know. So you have a really nice place. Yeah, see you soon. Thank you. So this is one of the last nights here. And uh, pretty cool. We got some people just chopped up some fresh coconuts. Really nice. Oh, wow, she's bringing them over. Yeah, awesome. Delicious coconuts. Just going to drink it right now and just go. Mmm. So good. Yeah, and make your skin beautiful. Wow, look at that. Take one. Okay, so right now we got a big downpour. It's really cool. We got all kinds of kids here. Family friendly. I like it. Whenever you're in a place where you hear lots of kids' voices and it's good vibes, that's just amazing, ain't it? Happy kids, happy world. It's so cool. Happy dads, too, you know. Happy dads, strong dads. Righteous dads can change the world also. All right, good morning, everybody. I'm gonna walk outside right now. Actually going to, there's a little bit of plastic in the yard and I'm trying to stay here later today. So if I'm gonna try to stay here later and get a taxi late to the airport, then it's a good idea to go out here, talk to the family, show them that you care about where you stay, show them their appreciation, and see what happens. One of my favorite things to do lately is wake up, play with Jasper. Even though I woke up at like 8.30 a.m. today. So everything worked out. So everything worked out really well. We can stay here until like dinner time, so. Didn't seem like it was much of an issue. There was not really any negotiating. She was just like, okay, well, what time do you guys want to stay until? And she liked the shirt. It says Hikadua. So right now, uh, this is a great herb right here for upset stomach. Yeah. She basically crushed some cinnamon and some cumin seeds. And now she's kind of like frying that over some fire and then going to pour some hot water on that. Amazing. Mmm, it smells so good too. Yeah, so right now we're in the Sri Lankan kitchen and the beautiful home here. And uh, wow, the whole place smells like cumin seeds and cinnamon. It's so cool. So yeah, my, my girl, you know, she's got a little bit of an upset stomach. She's okay now, but this is great for upset stomach. This is some Sri Lankan medicine right here.
there you go, right there. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. This is the delicious homemade Sri Lankan tea that the uh, Airbnb guest host mother just made for us. Mmm, whoa. A little salty. Very herby. It's kind of like a chai tea almost. But it's got, the, this, again, it's like the roti here, a lot of the food here, a lot of the flavors I know very similar to India. But it's a Sri Lankan food, 100%. What you got? What you got? What you got? Cook it. That was really good. Yeah, the dog doesn't have any other dogs to play with, so I think like this is his first time. He knew too, I was trying to get him to run and play before we started the video. And then it's like he knew we were trying to run and play with him, so he ran to go get like the water bottle. And dogs just do what a dog's gonna do what a dog's gonna do. Hey. Jasper, come. All right, bye-bye. Hey, careful, it's like a squirrel. Oh. Yeah, there's one like that in Thailand. It's the one behind Casa. There's only one. So again, I always try to tell you guys to keep putting yourself out there. And this is a reminder for myself too. Um, we, we saw these cool birds. And this woman was out here just being real friendly and we just started talking to her. She's inviting us in, she's gonna give us a little tour. And wow, she has a beautiful, beautiful home here. Check this out. So we're gonna walk over here. This, uh, how old is this coconut tree? How long? Three years? Six years, wow, okay. So this one right here, this guy is gonna take six years. So that's patience. And we got some more dogs out here, some friendly guys. Okay, you guys gotta check this out. Gosh, that's like how many coconuts? Like 50 coconuts? 50 on one tree? More than 50. What is your name? Kanti Kanti. Kanti Kanti. Nice to meet you, I'm Camden. And again, what was your name? Chadani. Chadani, nice to meet you again. And well, oh, yeah, you're Kim. Yeah. <laughs> so this one right here, they told me, how many months, how, how long? Yes, how, when did you, how long, maybe, uh, how many years? Two years? No, no. Three. This one is still 
five months. Five years. Oh, okay. That's pretty fast, though. Yeah, it's grow five years like that. Five years. Wow, okay. So this one's a baby. This is a jackfruit right here. So, yeah, you guys can see the birds here are going crazy. Yeah, yeah, she's excited. She wants to show us some more. You can show me anything you want. Let's go on a little adventure. Jungle tour. Oh, wow. Wow, what's this one? Oh, pepper. Wow, look at this, guys. Check this out. Wow, black pepper right here. Amazing. Wow. Look at this house, though, it's beautiful. This one that we showed you right here, this plant. This is the one that she had in your tea this morning. Oh, it. Very hot. Can you hear now? So I'm going to eat this one. It's very hot. It's spicy. Spicy. Spicy? Mmm, <laughs> black pepper. Wow, but it's so fresh. Mmm. Well, yeah, duh, it's fresh. It's from their house. <laughs> Then we got some chilies over here. Fresh chili. Got the flour on there. Wow. And this one? Uh, lemon. Uh, no, uh, mojave. Uh, orange. Orange, orange. Wow, there's an orange tree right here. Wow. You're going to have... Lemon, this lemon. is mango? Mango, yeah. Mango? You got lemon? Then she took us over here. She got the lemon coming on right over here. So... It's really amazing. I probably said amazing like a hundred times in about three days on these videos, but it's freaking amazing. So this one is called Rose Apple. You guys can see, let me get a little close up here. Right there, it's coming. Wow, so many amazing fruit trees. They got their own taxi right here. This is pretty cool. So, this is, you know, curry, it goes way beyond just like the ingredients, but also what it's cooked in. So what is this made of right here? Is this clay? Uh, From here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, wow. So this is a clay, a clay pot right here, which they do all their fresh curries in. She's got an amazing, great collection right here. Yeah, this one's really fresh. Just new, made it. New, new. <laughs> yeah, brand new one. Do you make? No. You make? No. From where? Market. Market. Okay, from the market, yeah. yeah. So cool, amazing, thank you. Would this uh, make good? Make yeah. good curry? Yeah, it's yes. healthy. Yes, very healthy. Yes. Yeah, it's better than it's, uh, better than this one, yeah? Right, yeah. And I also like how they're really making sure that the, that the trees really retain moisture in the dry season and is creating all kinds of organic compost right here from the coconut shells, the husk of the coconut. And then of course, black pepper is growing right in here just you know, it's also really easy too when you live in a place like this because everything is, it's got two seasons. It's always pretty much hot, but then you got dry season and a wet season. Uh, curry, uh, oh, lemongrass. No, no, uh, no, no. Uh, lemongrass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I love lemongrass. This is one of my favorites right here. Lemongrass. If you guys don't know about lemongrass, oh, you guys got to get on that. Here's some celery right here. Nice. Mm. What's this one? Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is uh... Mm. clove. Wow, that's my first time I ever have to smell clove, like real clove. Smell that. You smell it? They put this in the the tea, right? In black tea, they put a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Camden. Nice to meet you. Uh, America, but I live in Thailand. I've been last time uh, Miami. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have fun? <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Kumara Wadu. Kumara. Wadu. Kumara Wadu. Thailand, huh? Yes. I've been also Kosichan. Kosichan. Thailand. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Thai South? Nice place, yeah, yeah. Yes. And this is your home here? Yeah. Yes, wow. I'm just making video for show my show people on YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have a beautiful home. And she yeah. showed me the next orange time, tree. Next time we, give, uh, we rent out. Okay. Yeah, you should do Airbnb. Do you know Airbnb? Let me show you. So anyway, as we make our way back out onto the main road, not too much traffic this morning on Saturday, but uh, what I'm getting kind of get what I'm getting from this place in Hikadua Beach is 
What a great vibe it is. It's like everybody's just kind of walking around. Got the big bus coming through. I think that's the biggest bus I've seen here in Sri Lanka is a luxury bus. Tuk-tuks lined up everywhere, very easy to find stuff. Very friendly people. And um, yeah, so cool here in Hikadua. People even walking with no shoes. Guys and gals. Hi, can I have roti? Yeah. Can I have a, you want one or two? Two. Can I have two roti? Two roti. Okay. What roti you want? Uh, just a plain, no egg. Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna get two roti to go. Okay. Two roti to go? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, nothing, uh, just plain, just plain. Plain cheese? Uh, no, no cheese. Okay, cool, so we got two, two plain rotis for 100 rupees. It's really, really good. So anyway, let me try a little bit. Let me try some of this roti. Mmm. Delicious. So good. Dip that in some lentils. Let's go. People here are so friendly. I just dapping everybody up. So cool. By the way, you got a lot, a lot of cool tours here. And uh, not just like these crazy tourist tours, but like, you know, most of the things they're doing with animals are like trying to preserve things. So they got like a turtle nesting area where you can take care of the turtles and learn about their habitat. All those cool things. So, uh, and then again, you're always going to find like little stands like this where you can grab tons of delicious fruit. You got tons of, you know, clean water here. Um, I didn't see any spring water bottles, but I did see water like come from deep wells. So, you know, purified. So you don't have to really worry about any of those things. And uh, I, still, I didn't get sick at all. Uh, I had diarrhea a little bit, but that's just because like last night, you know, we've been going to one restaurant, but like last night we had, we went to two different places. Like we had bread from one of the guys that was coming by on the tuk-tuks, one of like the tuk-tuk bakeries. And then the other person was the uh, the bread that we got the roti from. And then the other one was we got the roti from. So, you know, with more hands on food it does increase your probability of getting a little sick or something like that. But uh, for me, nothing that's gonna keep me bedridden. So we're back again. We're back again! Happy to see us, yeah. Okay, so how are we doing today? Doing okay today? Good. Time 1 o'clock. I took 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I know. We're taking it. We're going slow today, you know? Just want to go slow today. So we got our one of our last meals here. I know there's straws in the coconuts, but hey, man. Anyway, so we got some roti bread, some dal, some, like, some Sri Lankan noodles, almost said Chinese noodles, and, uh, and a girlfriend too. Okay, and one, one of the things you guys got to do is when you come to Hikadua Beach, just look behind me. You guys have been following me for a while. You know I've been trying to work on backgrounds. You know, Powfish has a lot of wonderful backgrounds and all the teachers out there. You guys have wonderful backgrounds, but just imagine sitting in class and having this in the back or having this in the back. There's so many beautiful pictures here. Like this one, I really, really wanted to get this one down here. And uh, just like a huge surfing nature culture here in Hikadua. Even have like the Buddha right here just super creative and artistic like I never see stuff like this before with the wave and the green colors and then we will come out here for a second look at this turtle I mean gosh so much time and effort and attention to detail when it comes to these things and I'll show you guys on this side I'll come over here real quick and look these, these elephants and uh, this one right here the monk the Buddhist monk walking up onto the mountain and then here, oh gosh, kids would love this. Not only this kids, but it just makes for such a beautiful texture to your home. Now this one, this spider right here, I don't think you wanna fuck with this guy. 
he means business. My last class. It's my last class. Hello. Hello. Hey, shark. Hi, shark. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, great, man. I'm doing very good too, thank you. And so, uh, how? what is today? Is today Saturday? Today is Saturday. Yeah, so what do you do today on Saturday? Uh, I'm going to see my grandpa and grandma. That's very good. So you're going to see your family? <clears throat> Okay, now, is that your grandmother, grandfather on mom's side or dad's side of the family? Mom's side. Mom's side? Okay. Okay, one more. My brother. Like them either. My brother doesn't like them either. Come on, read it, please. My brother doesn't okay. like them. You got it, Shark. You got your five stars. Yeah, man. The reading book. What's the name of the reading book? I like to eat. Yeah. So, Shark, great job today. You got all five stars. And I'll see you next time, okay? Okay. Good job, man. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. You're very welcome. See you. Bye-bye. Yes. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That was pretty cool. That was just, I have one class today, one scheduled class for the Saturday, March 10th, 2018. It was a good kid. It was a good lesson. And uh, now, this is our last few hours here in Hikadua Beach. Just gonna kinda probably go to the beach before the sunset, get a little bit of food, because it's gonna be a long day. Probably have to even plan and get some food ahead of time, like put it in a bag or something like that and then eat it if we're in the shuttle van or when we're waiting at the airport. That way, you know, we don't wake up in the, in the airport after waiting there four hours and also being hungry. So just things to factor in, you know. But again, I really believe that taking a taxi from Hikadua Beach to sh straight to the airport late tonight is the best thing to do. Or it's going to be, we would have already had to leave. I probably would have had to cancel my class. And I didn't want to have that. So everything works out the way it needs to work out that's why you gotta just stay calm and keep on teaching okay so our last few hours here and the rainy season just started definitely it was sunny well cloudy this morning and throughout the day but then about 3 30 4 p.m right after my last class that i was teaching it just started hammering. We were doing a yoga video inside the room. Couldn't even hear the yoga instructor. But it's all good. Got the Kotao shirt on. Turtle Island. Kotao's an island in Thailand on the Gulf side, not on the Andaman side. But anyway, it's an amazing day. That's my new word, amazing. Okay, so you guys have been with me from the beginning of this trip. When we started in Chiang Mai and brought you all the way out here from Colombo and then International Airport of Sri Lanka out here to Hikadua Beach. And I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this amazing spot. A lot of gratitude for this spot right here. This concrete slab out here on this balcony where I was teaching my classes. Just overwhelmed with joy overwhelmed with the amount of peace and even though I really 
could have built momentum up with being on Facebook, Instagram, uploading on YouTube, and all that, Snapchat and Twitter, and all that stuff. But for having the last three days without having access to that, just having access to making video, just having access to Palfish to teach and upload a few things on Palfish. It's given me a whole different perspective because I've been writing about what I want to do when I get back and what I'm going to do. So anyway, guys, this is it. I got a little emotional back here because, you know, when you come to a new place and it just like almost like steals your heart, you know? And at the same time, you gotta realize there's so many amazing places out there in the world waiting to be discovered, and this is just one place. Same goes for you guys. One city, one state, one country, one town, one village at a time. Don't forget, live your dreams, follow your heart, and the universe will open it up for you. You'll meet the people you need to meet, Money will come when it needs to come, but at some point you're gonna have to put in the hard work. You're gonna have to put in the effort. Without effort, without communication, without empathy, without patience and kindness, it's gonna be a very difficult road for those. And the ones who are kind of tapping in to the love frequency, to giving back and to sharing and creating, oof, it's gonna be an amazing life for the next couple decades. Well, we're gonna be living past 100, right? Maybe 300, we'll see. We are infinite beings having an experience on this planet. And you just look around you, absolutely stunning. Okay, so this is it right here. Got everything packed up, made the place spotless, cleaned it all up, packed it all up. And it's time to go. Time to get the taxi, about a two hour drive to the airport. And it looks like we're just gonna camp out in the airport till we check in at 5 a.m., baby. Okay, so we made the two hour drive from Hikadua Beach back over here to the airport in Colombo. And already lots of people here. It's about 12.30 a.m. in the morning. Ken, you got a little bit of rest? Yeah, she's like, hey. So anyway, as you guys can see, this whole place is crowded out here. It's going on 1 a.m. And uh, I think people are waiting to sort of get into the airport, I guess. So anyway, we're gonna find out what's going on in here. We're gonna wait probably about four hours and then we'll be able to get ourselves checked in. So just take a look, it is crowded up in here. So many people. <laughs> okay, so we found this little corner spot. Check it out. <laughs> She's like passed out on my knee. I can't wait to get on the plane. I'm about to pass out myself. It's about 2.34 p.m. a.m. And just waiting to get checked in. We already got our tickets, but we got to get our bag checked in and then uh, go through all the other gates. And our, we can board our plane at like 6.20 or something like that, 6.40. So just a couple more hours. In about 12 hours, almost 12 hours, give or take a little bit, we'll be officially in Chiang Mai. So what a fantastic trip this was beyond all expectations. Look at the shuttle van. About to get on that big ass plane over there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you guys this big old plane. Damn, Kim come. Everybody's out here doing selfies. <laughs> it's a selfie pose. Let's get one selfie, man. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Here you're gonna be in my YouTube video, okay? Cool, brother. <laughs> Fifty-nine C. Um, cross the right, please. All right, here we go. 
time to go back to Bangkok. Okay, so we went the whole morning passing out in the airport seats, but it's all good. Made it on the plane. Now we got about another three hours until we get to Bangkok. When we get to Bangkok, we're like super hungry already, so might be some food on the plane. Either way, can't wait to get back to Chiang Mai today. Okay, so we got in to the Bangkok airport. Now it's time to go through the immigration, get checked in, have our first food for the day. We just ate fruit on the plane. Cause I got standards, I'm not gonna put junk in my body. And uh, with that being said, it's nice to be back in Thailand. So when you come into the Bangkok airport, you just gotta follow these lines, pretty simple. Immigration and the uh, baggage claim. Okay, that's it. It was a long day. Time to go to the Maya shopping mall. Go pick up some food and head back to the crib and make a big ass meal because I'm about to chow down. But it's official. We are in Chiang Mai. From Bangkok to Chiang Mai, the trip is over. So now it's time to turn the page and open up a new chapter. You guys can just check out the uh, outside right here, Chiang Mai, beautiful mountains. Okay, so I just called the Uber up and literally in like less than five minutes, the Uber's already here. He's happy too. Hello, good afternoon. Okay. So anyway, excited. Welcome. All right, so you want to chill down here and I go down there? You go here? You go to Starbucks and wait? Okay, straight out of the airport. I'm not even going home yet. I gotta hit up Maya. I got food at the house, but I need to get a salad. An organic, fresh organic local salad because Sri Lanka has lots of great food, but we were like in a beach area. So the, um, again, the food was amazing. It was great, but there was like no salad. And I'm like, my body is dying for some alkalizing greens alkaline some alkaline food okay. <laughs> okay so got the food ready for tonight time to go home hot shower make some delicious food and the uber's already outside damn so as soon as we get back i don't know if you guys can see but it looks like a big ass storm's coming right now and this rain is about to break any second right now. Nobody's even at the mall right now. Usually this place is packed up. This door right here, usually people coming in and out left and right. All right, cool. There's the Uber right there. Let's rock and roll. Hold up. Let me get this thing down. This might be the first big rain for this year right now, which is nice. First night back, we brought the rain. That's a good sign though. Without the rain, these trees ain't growing. The fruit ain't gonna get ripe on that tree without this rain coming in. And we made it back. It could do a beach, baby. So anyway, you guys are probably used to this little surrounding. But anyway, it's time to whip up some good food, take a hot shower. I'm pumped, I'm excited. And it's time to get back on the social media. Okay, so that was 
my recent trip to Sri Lanka. Instead of breaking it up into little videos, I decided to just put it all together, not only for you guys, but also for me. I can sit in the bed, watch my entire trip five years down the road, and look back at these amazing memories and say that I did it. And I want you to do the same thing with whatever you're doing in your life right now. If teaching English online, teaching English abroad, or if you're new to this whole thing, look, I'm trying to help as many people as I can in 2018 to get on to Powfish. I've talked to the director. They're looking hot to hire dozens and even hundreds of teachers this year. It's getting bigger and bigger. And also, when it gets bigger, supply and demand. It's going to become more and more competitive. Right now, just from having those four days in Sri Lanka, I'm at number like 50. 50 on the official course teacher list, which I'm usually at least top 20, usually top 10. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me below. You can add me on Facebook and send me a message onto Facebook Messenger. Please make sure you check out my description. Tons of links, tons of ways to get a hold of me, to see other material that I'm creating on different social media. Thank you guys so much. And have a wonderful day teaching. And remember, plant those seeds for a positive future. All right, guys. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.